because it's New Year's Eve and we all were on a flight and we get into the storm and the pilot loses connection to uh, every single cell tower and that he has no idea where we are and we have to land on an island that is one of the most dangerous places on earth and then the story unfolds from there and there are a lot of challenges we have to face and how our pilot tries to guide us through all of those. So I play Brie and she's on a trip with her best friend Katie and I think this is the first trip they really take together and the first time they're not together with their family and I think they really represent the innocence and they really remind Torrance of his family and of his daughter and I think that's one of the characters that really motivate him to get us all home and get us safe because we're more afraid and we're more terrified and we have never been confronted with a fear like that and I think seeing our kind of raw emotions and the what we're going through really gets him to try to see the humanity in all of it and really try to get home also to his family. So Jared Butler played Torrance and what I loved about working with him is he's so committed, he's so dedicated. Every day he shows up and even though it was a really tough shoot, he never really complained at all. He was always prepared, knew his text, knew exactly with what he was going into it, knew everyone's names, was very sweet to everyone on set and really tried to have a conversation with all of us. And I think his work ethic really inspired all of us to really show up every day and give it our best. The thing about Jerry is he was such a committed and such a great and talented actor, but at the same time, he was the most hands-on producer you can imagine. Like you said, handing out water, making sure for every scene we had enough sweat so it was really realistic and fit together with a plot. And just by really getting us all to connect, to talk, to see if we're doing okay, to see if the circumstances, if someone needs something, like vitamin C was handed out a lot just because of the heat and the humidity. And his care for the other people and the care for the project really translates into the love, into the movie, which makes it so successful. Working with ensemble for so long is one of the things I love about acting because you go to a project, you don't really know anyone, and within a week they all kind of become like family. And we were a pretty big group. I think in the tent and acting together we were like always 15 people. And after spending three months together you get really used to each other. And I have this every time I leave set. You get very sad because you miss seeing those people around every day. Even on our days off we would do things together, go to the national park. and. It just very quickly becomes a very familiar environment where everyone is very interested in getting to know each other. We play games, we talk, we learn from each other, we exchange books, and it became this wonderful community in a way. And then the suffering, even sometimes, or waiting for hours on end, suddenly becomes enjoyable because you get to spend time with these people. So it was definitely a wonderful experience to have this community for such a long time. Daniela has a humor that is incomparable. She's hilarious. She's also so talented. And I think the way she could joke in between takes and then be completely in the role while the camera was rolling is an incredible talent. And she really also interacted with all of us, always had a good mood. She was very funny. She came with her flip-flops and pillows if we had a 5 a.m. call time. She just made everything very humane. And similar to Jerry, like they're very well-known and talented people, but they're so grounded and so interested in the people around them that it's an honor to learn from them and just see them work. He plays this very secluded, mysterious person. And I think very quickly at the beginning of the movie, we find out that somehow he can be dangerous. And I think that also adds to the tension between the passengers before even the plane crash, that we're all very tense of what did this guy do and what is he capable of? And then also his reactions to the entire plane crash, he was a lot calmer than any of us were. And I think his mysteriousness and his unpredictability adds more tension between the passengers even before we face more challenges and it adds an interesting dynamic of this push and pull of oh he's helping is he really helping what is his motivation and he adds a lot of the internal conflict that we all have already and then adds to the external by then oh he leaves with our captain what is he up to so there's so many questions that arise from his character that add to the tension of the movie I think Brie and Katie uh, play a significant role in Captain Brody's consciousness of trying to get us out of there. A lot of the times we're the characters who are very helpless and just don't know what is going on and we're very afraid of dying and we make that very apparent to him. And I think 
the other characters show more strength or don't show that weakness to the other passengers or especially the captain. But by us being so unexperienced and being so afraid and show, being so helpless and asking Torrance for almost fatherly advice, he feels very responsible to get us out of there and to give us hope. And I think him giving us that hope continuously inspires him and gives him more strength to go through that.